sing. Probably better, right? We'd sing louder. Number two, it has another effect. It drowns me out. That's another good thing, right? So let's sing, let's sing loud and proud. Number 647 is our first song as we begin. 647. Wait until Chris gets it going. He's got a lot on his plate this night, tonight. And Justin, that screen's not on. We're going to need it, though. We have plenty of songs that are not in the book that are going to be led. <laughs> there we go. Come, let us all unite to sing God is love. Let heaven and earth Now before our scripture reading, number 527, 527. 
and Hayden Coble will direct our attention to the scripture. 527. When peace like a Scripture reading will come from Zephaniah chapter 3, verses 14 through 17. That's Zephaniah chapter 3, verses 14 through 17. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. Jehovah hath taken away thy judgments, he hath cast out thine enemy. The king of Israel, even Jehovah, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not fear evil any more. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, O Zion, let not thy hands be slack. 
Jehovah thy God is in the midst of thee, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. Number 158, before our opening prayer, by, led by Brother Jim, number 158. <clears throat> Guide me, O Thou great Jehovah, pilgrim through this barren land. I am weak, but Thou art mighty. Hold me with Thy powerful hand. Bread of heaven, feed me. Would you pray with me, please? Yeah. Our dear loving Heavenly Father, truly you are a God of love and have demonstrated that love so wonderfully by sending your son Jesus to earth to live as a human being, to be tempted as human beings are tempted, yet without any sin at all and then to suffer the cruel cross, taking our sins with him there, that we might be redeemed. Thank you so much, Father, for that wonderful sacrifice. We are so grateful that we can come together this evening and worship you by singing these wonderful songs, wonderful songs that praise your holy name and help us, Father, to think about the words of these songs, the lessons that they teach. Help us to be mindful of them and make practice and put into practice those things that we learn from them. We're so grateful for this congregation. We're grateful for each and every member of it. Each one is so precious. Each one has a soul that's so precious in your sight. And we thank you so much that we can come together as a family and worship you. Father, tonight we have heavy hearts and we want to especially pray for Susan Allison as she deals with the tragic loss of her husband. We pray, Father, that you would comfort her and help her to have an open heart to your word. We pray, Father, that all those who are hurting, 
Darlene Buckheister. She is in such shape with the terrible shape with the cancer that she has endured for so long. Please be with her and comfort her. Be with Faye Smith as she deals with the with this the pain of the arthritis that she suffers from, and Jeff, and all the rest of those in this congregation who are hurting in so many different ways. And Father, there are many ways of hurting other than physical and we ask your blessings upon each one because you know you know our needs and we ask that you would comfort each one of them we're grateful for our leadership for the elders and for the deacons and we're grateful for Derek and we're very grateful for all those who participate in the activities and the worship services and we are grateful to have such talent Father, we ask that you be with us tonight as we worship you in song. May our hearts be glorious and full of joy because we love you and we want to express that love in our song service this evening. Please forgive us of our sins. Help us to live lives that are more pleasing to you every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Chris, we're skipping the 502 song, and we're coming into Wes's song here. Our invitation song, though, if you'd like to mark that, is number 240. Number 240. Wes, what are we singing first? Blue skies and rainbows. Say it right here. Blue skies and rainbows. Blue skies and rainbows. It won't be on the board or in your books. Let's go. Blue skies and rainbows and sunbeams from heaven. Are what I can see when my Lord is living in me. I know that Jesus is well and alive today. He makes his home in my heart. Never more will I be all alone since he promised me.
tells me of a Savior's love who died to set me free. It tells me of His precious blood, the sinner's perfect plea. Oh, how I love Jesus. Number 355, 355. Lord, we talk before the hour, and I hear the Number 281, and we'll sing the first and third verses.
Number 65. Number 65. One, two, and four. A wonderful Savior is Jesus my Lord, a wonderful Savior to me. He hides my soul in the cleft of the rock, where rivers of pleasure I see. He hides my soul in the cleft of the rock, that shadows the dry thirsty land. He hideth my life in the depth of his love and covered me there with his hand and covered me there with his hand. A wonderful Savior is Jesus my Lord. He taketh my burden away. He holds me up and I shall not be moved. He giveth me strength as my day. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock that shadows the dry thirsty land. He hideth my life in the depth of his love and covered me there with his hand. Me there with his hand. When clothed in his brightness, transported, I ride to meet him in clouds of the sky. His perfect salvation, his wonderful love, I'll shout with the millions on high. He hides my soul in the cleft of the rock that shadows a dry, thirsty land. He hideth my life in the depth of his love and covered me there with his hand and covered me there with his hand. 67. 67, verses 1, 2, and 4. Years I spent in vanity and pride, caring not my Lord was crucified, knowing not it was for me he died on Calvary. Mercy there was great and great was free. Offered and there was multiplied to there my burden so found liberty at Calvary. By God's word at last my sin I learned. Then I trembled at the law I spurned. Till my guilty soul imploring turned to Calvary. Number 780, number 780, all three verses. We praise thee, O God, for the Son of thy love, for Jesus who died and did 
65 when he comes in glory by and by. Oh, how sweet will be to me the Lord when he comes in glory by and by. What a song of praise will be have for when he comes in glory by and by. How sweet. We'll sing the first and third stanza of victory in Jesus. I heard an old, old story how a Savior came from glory, how he gave his life on Calvary. He loved me and I 
song 712 my name is in the book of life we'll sing the first second and fourth stanza please my name is in the book of life oh bless the name of jesus i rise above all doubt and strife and read my title clear i know First song will be 555, number 555, and we will do all three verses. Some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the air, coming after you and me, joy is ours to share. What rejoicing there will be when the saints shall rise, headed for that jubilee yonder. What a day of singing, singing, what a day of shouting, shouting, the happy morning when we all shall gladly rise. What a day of glory, 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 hallelujah, meet our blessed Savior yonder in the sky. Seems that now I almost see all the sainted dead rising for that jubilee that is just ahead. In the twinkling of an eye, I change with them to be all the living saints to fly to that jubilee. What a day! Savior, yonder in the sky. 
When with all the heavenly hosts we begin to sing, we begin to sing the most, the heavens will ring. Millions there will join the song, with them we shall be. Praising Christ to ages long, heavens jubilee. What a next one will be on the screen only. Father, I adore you. All three verses. <coughs> Father, I adore you and I lay Number 78, 78, all three verses. He took my burdens all away up to a brighter day, gave me a song, a wonderful song. A wonderful 
56. There is a fountain free. There's a fountain free. This for you and me. Let us haste, oh haste. It is Twenty-eight. <laughs> On the sunset, a blissful morning, with our Savior, and this be done.
77. All three verses.
fruitful trees and cedars, all ye hills and mountains are. Please and panels, birds and eagles, and birds fly. Number 242, 242, earthly wealth and fame.
I think in the history of all of our singings, it's the most song leaders that we've ever had up here, and it is outstanding. I love it. And to see all of these young men who are getting up here in confidence and leading these songs, it is amazing because it takes a lot of courage to get up here and to use those talents for God, and it has been an outstanding night. We're not going to have a lack of song leaders in the future, and that's a wonderful thing to see, and I appreciate all of our young men who did such a great job, and the older men too, uh, who did a great job tonight. Uh, appreciate uh, the singing. You know, when I was preaching at a congregation up north one time, and I was preaching on salvation, I was preaching on the church, and making the point that there's only one church, there's only one way to go to heaven, there's only one plan of salvation, and after the sermon, one of the elders came up to him and he pulled me aside and he said, you know what, you, you don't need to be preaching that. And I said, you're telling me I, I don't need to be preaching what, what's in the Bible? And he said, you know what, sometimes you just have to compromise. And I thought, so you're telling me you've got to take a little bit of truth and a little bit of error and you put it all together and then God is going to be pleased with that. That's what you're telling me. Because my Bible says to have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them, Ephesians 5, 11, And that's what we do. There's a fable that I heard about a hunter, a bear hunter. He was going out to find a grizzly bear, and, and he was all set and, and, and ready and in his spot, and all of a sudden... Huge grizzly bear came his way. And as he prepared to fire at the grizzly bear, the grizzly bear stood up. And he spoke very softly. And he said, do, do you really want to shoot me? Can't we talk about this? I think it'd be better to talk about this. He said, what is it that you want? The hunter said, well, you know what? All I really want is a fur coat. And the grizzly bear said, well, all I want is a full belly. And he said, I think we can talk about this. Let's negotiate something here. So they sat down and they began to discuss what each of them wanted. And the grizzly bear walked away alone. He got his full belly and the hunter got his fur coat. You see what I mean? See, compromise, it never ends equally for both sides. When it came down to God's people in the Old Testament, the people of Judah had compromised and they weren't following fully after God. They had a little bit of truth, but they had a little bit of error and so they meshed it all together. And what Zephaniah says is you need to repent and come back to God. And when you do that, here is the interesting phrase in Zephaniah 3.17. It says that God will joy over thee with singing. In other words, if they would humble themselves, if they would go back to righteousness, if they would be pure in their hearts all over again, God says, I'll be singing over you. We've been singing songs of praise to God tonight, but I can't help but wonder if there's somebody here tonight who needs to humble themselves before God so that he can sing over you. Do you need to make a change? Is there something amiss in your life? These were the people of God too, and they needed to make a change. Maybe you. As a child of God tonight, need to make a change so God can sing. Maybe you've never become a Christian. You need to change. You need to hear his word and believe it. Repent of your sins. Confess Jesus as the Christ and, and be baptized to have those sins washed away, Acts twenty two sixteen, And then you can sing. And God can sing. If you have a need, will you come while together we stand and sing?
If you have not had the opportunity to partake of the Lord's Supper or the opportunity to give, it is now ready for you in the library. If you'll make your way back that way, you'll be served at this time. For our closing song before our closing prayer by Brother... Is Dana here? No? Okay. We've got a... Somebody's filling in. Our closing song will be number 105. Number 105. Take my life and let it Shall we pray together? <laughs> Our God and Father in heaven, we are so truly thankful, Father, and know how blessed we are with the, the lives, the health, the ability that we have to be here tonight. We're thankful, Father, for each person that is here tonight, Father, to join in in this worship service of song, of praise to you. Father, we pray that we've conducted ourselves in a way that we be pleasing in your sight. Father, we pray that you'll be with each and every one of us as we enter this week. Help guide our steps in the paths you would have us to go and carry ourselves in a way that we can be an example to those around us wherever we be. Father, we pray all these things will be in accordance to your will. Let your will be done and not ours. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> 